Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Man, check this out, man. If this is your first time on He Rants. I just want to let you know I'm just a random guy who likes to talk about random stuff that interests me, and I just feel like I need to inform you guys about it. If that sounds sexy or attractive to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you always be one of the first people to hear the voice of Long Trousers. Because my voice is so sensual. And at the same time, make sure you leave a like, man. It only takes one second and lets YouTube know I'm doing a stand up job because I'm so so freaking insecure so insecure man please just hit that like it only takes one second just click it please i'm begging you At the same time you gotta buy the merch mofo men offering females orgasms because we're so humble link in the description box below but let's not waste no more time man we gotta talk about we're doing a reaction video let's just say that we're just doing a reaction video for the guy kevin samuels man this is a long time coming man this guy makes freaking beautiful content i feel like he's out there spreading wisdom and knowledge not only to men but to women specifically mainly to women that is right he talks to men too but mainly to women and i feel like this is good because a lot of women are living in a delusional world and they need this guy to spread open the cheeks not the cheeks but you know like spread open the minds and get, let them be a little bit more open-minded internalize what he's saying right because he's a very intelligent man man i i respect him a lot but let's not waste no more time man let's get right into the video i'm excited as hell man like for real this guy kevin samuels he'd be speaking facts and he'd be coming with the logic it's beautiful man. i'm not here for the bashing of women though. i'm just I just love logic you know what i'm saying and if you hear any kids upstairs like making a noise and stuff like that, those are just my kids running around, son. I'm not, I'm not a deadbeat dad. I'm taking care of my kids. Let's continue. Oh, well, actually, let's start. Let me say that. Question: Content creators know to actually ask people. Oh, she got a big Hi. Just, out, just, out, just chasing clout, trying to, to get the camera. Angle, get some, get some views. Well, that, that you ain't work for. Hello. How are you? Oh, you might want to move your face back. <laughs> like shit. Hello. I'm wonderful. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what do you got for me? Hey, hold on, sir. I just gotta say this, man. You see, you see why she had it close up, bro. Hey, listen, let me get y'all hips, son. When you see a girl, son, and you go to her Instagram page, and all she got is close up pictures, bro. Her profile pic, all her pics is always close up and never showing her body, son. She's fat, bro. She's fat. She knows she's fat, too, son. She's not even, she's not even, like, well, I'm not going to say she's trying to hide it because she clearly is trying to hide it, but she's trying to finesse. She's like, all right, my face is cute enough. I'm just going to zoom up to the face and everything and then, you know, not show the rest because they fat. They holding weight, man. That's what she just did right now. She tried to be slick. She tried to finesse. And she had to back up real quick. Like, all right, now we see your true, we see who you really are. So I could tell anyways. I mean, keep it safe when she was close up. <clears throat> um, so I am 28. Wait, one more one more thing. So I just got I gotta say something. Just just looking at her son. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just she <laughs> Y'all know JJ the jet plane, bro? She looked like JJ the jet <laughs> She looked like JJ the jet plane, bro. JJ the jet plane, or what's that other joint? Thomas the the tank. The, the train or something. Is it Thomas the train? Thomas the train. She got some. Her face is so round, bro. So I don't, I don't care. Hey, listen, bro. Like, hey. <laughs> listen. I was looking at I'm just like, yo, Thomas. Or, 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 or not not IHOP, the pancake house, man. It's like the pancake house, man. He's like a, a man. He he looked like the, like the, like the, uh, what, what's that guy? The, the dough boy. But he's like, instead of the dough face, he got a freaking pancake for a head and shit. Like, that's what, when I see her, I see that, bro. I mean, when you, man, let me stop. Let me stop. I'm roasting her, son. What am I doing? I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. I know and, that, hey. um. She pretty, though. I guess I just, you know, I want to know why, you know, what, what my, what my stats are like. Is she a Pokemon? Talking about stats? For what? Right. <laughs> uh like you know I don't, I don't know what you what do you mean stats for what because you know i want to be married or whatever or whatever i want to be in a relationship but i feel like maybe i'm a little too picky <laughs> you're not picky at <laughs> picking food <laughs> <laughs> you generous with the all right let me stop let me stop, let me stop. um i don't know i think are you being I'm, serious or are you trolling me no i'm being very serious i think i could be a little bit too picky but I would like to. What do you mean? Well, picky meaning what? Um, 
I mean, I just want a guy that, like, <sighs> you know, Shut is up. successful, um, a provider, a leader, and, you know, but I feel like, do I have children? No, I don't. You go to college? Our, um, I graduated. I have my bachelor's. She really not right. ugly for her, though. Psychology. Right. Uh, do you want children? I do. How many? Um, I would like, you know, maybe like two or three. Okay. And do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Um, I think working is normal. I, I don't have a problem working. Do you want to have to work right, to pay right. significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Yes. <clears throat> How much would you need to make in Atlanta to raise three children in the middle class? Um, I think uh, me and my husband would probably need like a combined income of like 150000 a year. Hey, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> hey, son. Hey, let me. Oh no, for I for I just want to ask, like, for like, cause she talk about money and stuff. How much you? How much money do you think she gets her royalty checks for JJ? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey yo! Oh my god! I know she getting royalty checks, bro. <laughs> like, listen. Anytime you guys saw JJ to the play, I better get a check. <laughs> oh. Oh, she look like a donut. Oh, my God. <laughs> like a glazed donut. Dunkin' Donut. Dunkin' Donut Donut. Woo. She donated it up. She look, oh, she looks so jellyfish. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, listen. If you want to roast me, you can go ahead. I'm all for the roasting, bro. Like, come at me. Come at me, son. I love it. It's all fun and games at the end of the day, son. I don't mean no foulness towards this girl, son. In fact, I'm trying to figure out. Maybe she zoomed in because she knows she got two airplane wings and shit. Because she just changed the jet plane. Oh, my God. <laughs> she, she probably the one. I can't, I can't let, her, I can't let them know that I'm really a plane and shit. Let me just, let me just play along with this shit and see. <laughs> hey you! Oh my god, my face look full of shit. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. funny game, so let's get no. serious. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, all right. Well, okay. Well, let's say this progressively over time, because you're not just gonna have like three children all at once. So the idea is like by the third child, I think we should have built wealth to at least like two hundred thousand annually. I think that's reasonable. Combine. Yeah, and it's close to the three hundred fifty thousand for three kids. Oh, okay, that's fair. And how much is a psychology? How much are you gonna make of that? Um, he's about to so roast it with that psychology. Degree. I make like right around like 80,000 a year. Um, mm -hmm. and the idea I actually am currently working towards like building my income substantially. Respect. So, the idea yeah, is hopefully but, but after you start, after you're married, pregnant, and having kids, you're not gonna be working full time. Yeah, she can't fly. <laughs> yeah, so the idea is but that you're not if I'm working full time. Yeah, the, the idea is always to, to somehow become phantom rich before you start having babies. That's not how life works. Okay. You work so you're, and you're So you're saying I need more money? Do you have? Um, I have like 15000 in loans. You have consumer debt. I don't have any consumer debt. Respect. Okay, how tall are you? I'm five foot three. Dress size? Um, I'm like a four. <laughs> Four, five. Oh, now you're going to increase it by what? My face looks a lot heavier. I hold a lot of weight in my face, but I'm I'm petite. What? Do that so we can see up and down. I don't really well, like I don't really have like real clothes on right now. I kind of have, I, I, re I recently had surgery, so I have like, um, what kind of surgery? Like, um, I don't, I don't want to blast myself. You, you got, got like that BBO, that, <laughs> okay. that Brazilian butt lift surgery, fat transfer. 
What's the most you've ever weighed? Um, a hundred and a hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> hey, stop! Hey, yo, stop! Stop! Yo! Hey, yo, they zoomed up in the face! <laughs> yo! Hey! Oh, my God! Yo! He asked her dress size. She said four. This nigga was rocking the chair back in the morning. She said four. He stopped. He was like, what? He was like, she was like, four. So, and then she going to try to say, oh, four, five. I, I, is it four or five, bro? It's like, yo. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't make it through this video. I can't. I can't make it through this video. Yo, and then he zoomed in on her face. Oh, so you can see the fullness, bro. That joint, that joint full. She looked like a pastry. A whole pastry, son. Pastry. She looked like a chef. She looked all she was like, like, what do you do? You cook, don't you? Hell yeah, I cook. She looked like she cooked. She looked all she do is <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. Calm down. Woo. Hey, yo. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you look a little, you look much bigger than her dress. You say much bigger. I'm not, trust face, me. But... Okay. No, I'm not. But I'm you're not, still talking I'm not, about I'm not. She don't look I as big when she zoomed okay. out a little bit more. But I'm still saying you're still talking about a man in the top. 8% of earners. Eight Top 8% 8 of earners. So, okay. So, I, I listened to your live with like the last lady and I felt like you were like, okay, you're 44. So I guess my question to you is for like a, a, a woman in her mid twenties, just an average woman, like what should be your, like what should be the goal? Because just honestly, it. I feel like, you know, I need hearing you still, I need you to stay still in one place. People oh. are watching this. Oh, sorry. Um, like, because I mean, especially here in Atlanta, I feel like we're let, me, not. let me ask you a question. An average woman. Yeah, what your mother? What your father do for a living? Uh, my father, he's um, a professor. He's a chairman at a university, and my mom's a pharmacist. Ooh, okay. okay. They're above average, but they went to college. But I mean, average people get average people. Yeah. What's an average? What's the average black man make in this country? Um, you said fifty thousand. Hey, I'm above average. Well, actually, it's forty-two. <laughs> she making that same face. I mean, uh, how old are you again? Twenty-eight. Uh huh. Have you ever dated a man making one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year? I have. How long ago was that? Um, I mean, most of them. Hold on, hold on. Why do you keep zooming her see. face? Did you just roll your eyes? You said what? Did you just roll your eyes? No, no, no. That was, I was thinking. I was okay. like thinking. Okay. When I say date, I meant y'all were Facebook. You know, this is my man. He's claiming you. Oh, she getting on JJ the Jet Plane mode right now. Now nah, she's trying to be Thomas. Mm -hmm. Have yeah. you ever dated a man making that kind of money? Yeah, the last guy I dated. Uh, how long? How long did you guys date? Um, we were friends for a while, and how so long did we date. Uh, for like a year. All right, and why didn't that go anywhere? He he um I think because of his um earning potential, he got like I feel like so he was like a plastic surgeon, and I feel like he start so we started dating when he entered residence. So he's a plastic surgeon, and now you got the surgery, the BBL that you're not trying to let nobody know about. 
because you're trying to deceive people. Nigga, we know it's the BBL, son. You had a whole lot of fat. And that, that dress size four to five that she's talking about that she, she wears is the size that she's going to wear once the surgery, everything heals up. She used to be a big joint. You can see it in her face. You know what I'm saying? But look like she pulling dudes, bro. Ass might be fat. Ass might be ginormous. I respect it. I respect it. See, and like, I just feel like he got big headed. Like, he realized, like, all the women that were chasing him. Duh, and he's he got like, the money, no, the hose is no, coming. No. Uh. <laughs> oh, she about to take no. off. <laughs> I guess. No, no, listen. Okay, listen. Excuse me? We had a difference in values. Well, Our not values. really. Not really. Because you're talking about the way he started looking at his potential the same way you rolled your eyes and I said the black man made 40,000. No, 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 no. Like he, okay, so he started saying like he wants to have like a polygamous family. And he <laughs> he want a hose. Like he just, the things he- And if that's what he wants, he can get it. Oh, it's Kevin Samuel, why? I, I'm right. fully believe right. he can. Because why? Because he's in the top 8% of black men and top earners. And you <laughs> ask me, man, um, you gotta rank yourself. Well, where would you rank yourself? Um, I, I mean, I think I'm like a, you know, like a, a seven. I don't do sevens. You say you don't do seven? <laughs> what is that? Like, what, do you, what does that mean? You can't rank. You can't use seven because everybody wants to use seven. Zero to ten, you can't use seven. Now you gotta see why I don't use seven because everybody wants to use seven as a safe number. Okay, uh, uh, 7.5. Oh, no, no, no version of a seven. Okay, eight. Okay, eight. Okay, you, you, all right, now. Hey. Yeah. Lord have mercy, give me strength, give me strength. I don't know if I can make it through this video. This show is freaking hilarious, bro. She is funny as hell. The way she looking at this joint. Like... Oh. Oh. And she gave herself an eight. Oh. <laughs> Mitch where? <laughs> Mitch where? <laughs> where? Where's the eight at? Huh? Eight, baby. You look like she ate something. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> All right, let's calm down. Let's calm down. If you, now I'm gonna say something, okay? Uh, maybe that's just expressive, but if you're doing all that shit with your face, I'm gonna tell you to get up off my phone. <laughs> oh, booty! That's not cool, young lady. I'm I, I'm just an expressive person. It's not disrespect. Yeah, it is. Yeah, very... you, wouldn't do this, you wouldn't do this shit in church or in the college class. Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, you asked me for my professional advice, so can you respect the platform? I sure can. Thank you. An eight. You give yourself an eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, who else would you rank in the eight categories as far as like famous people, musicians, movie stars, that kind of stuff? Okay. Um, uh, an eight as a famous person? Mm -hmm. Like in like a ratio? Like not no, no, like Beyonce is an eight. No, Beyonce's not an eight. Yeah, Beyonce is seven point five. Fuck you talking about? Who's the image consultant in real life? Okay, so you think Beyonce's an eight? I think Beyonce's a ten. Oh, no, gas Beyonce, bro. Okay. Beyonce's an eight. Kelly Rowland would be a nine, and Rihanna, even with her big forehead, would be a ten. I give Rihanna a ten. She's okay. bad. She's beautiful. 
So by giving yourself an eight, you put yourself in the category where Beyonce is. Okay. <laughs> so. So he makes you feel like you have I'm to not be an eight. A six. Are you in the category with Beyonce? I mean, no. This is one of the major issues. You ladies don't know how to rank yourself. So when somebody like myself comes along with the truth, most people in my profession will give Beyonce an eight. And many black women will give her a 10 because you want to guys want to give yourself higher numbers. So are you in her category or not in her category? No, nah, I'm not, I'm not Beyonce. Okay. I mean, we're talking about just from the face. Oh, okay. Okay, then what then what would you give yourself if you know understand Beyonce? I'm making it? jokes about her son, but okay, she's really not ugly like son. Like which is closer to reality. Cause by giving yourself an eight, you automatically put yourself in the pretty, beautiful, or gorgeous of all women across the world. It's facts. And I'm sorry, at twenty eight years old, your lived life has told you that you're likely not there. Not in the comment section. She, she looking you to see people comments? roasting her on the live. That's all right. <laughs> I'd be so in that joint. The comments? I haven't really seen any of the comments. Okay, what, good. What you, what you looking at there? So ultimately what I'm trying to get you to understand is um, you carry, you carry, don't look in the comment section. You, you carry your weight in your face. Okay. I um, mean, and, and you said that you've uh, recently had surgery, so that typically means stuff like. To, oh my gosh, this is on my page. Yeah. No, it's not. It's on my page. She never been on live, bro. When you on live, it's gonna show to your followers and his followers. They're gonna see. So she probably like, damn, my friends probably seeing this. People gonna realize that I'm. I'm over here asking for advice on how to get a man and shit. So people gonna see I'm desperate. I had my surgery, my face chubby and shit like that. Like everybody gonna see I'm a phony, a big fat phony. Oh god, <laughs> she hurt. She hurt. But the, the thing that's crazy, man. She could definitely receive the dick. So I feel like we're not talking about it. Enough. She can definitely, she can definitely receive the dick. If she has the BBL, that means the booty might be looking somewhat nice, right? If she went to the right surgeon, the booty might be looking somewhat nice. I'd be willing to adventure that booty, right? Like I said, she's not ugly. She's not ugly. I don't think so. Not at all, right? She has a little bit of makeup on and everything. But I, I wouldn't be embarrassed to walk with her in public. No, not at all. But now that she's had this surgery that's lowered her stomach and everything, made her patootie push out a little bit more, raises her appeal. I know some people say, oh, the booty's fake, blah, blah, blah. Yes, the booty may be fake. But as long as it feels real, it's still crackable. Yes, crackable. Yes. Uh, as long as the cushion is there to hit my pelvis when I'm taking, giving her, I was about to say taking back shots. That would have been no homo. But giving back shots, I feel like we're, we're going to have a good time. As long as the juices will be able to spray upon her buttocks, I think, um, I think we're ready to go. I think we're, we're raring to go. That's that, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. I feel like my opinion is pretty strong. Let's continue. Okay. This is showing up on my page. Awkward as hell. Well, I mean, life is life. <laughs> and I haven't been, I mean, here's the thing though, man. Whoever you are on here, live stream or wherever, that's who you are in the real world. Mm -hmm. And if you're wanting a man who's going to be the top earners of black men, mm -hmm. that's an extremely competitive place to be. I said that's top, that's two percent of men. I mean, but what if, what if your goal, like, I mean, I, I don't think income is really one of the first things I look at when it comes to a man. Uh, but it's but it is a factor based upon what you want as far as an outcome. The amount of okay, you want three children, two to three children. Are you content with having to share a car? Are you content with having to drive something like uh, oh I don't know, 
uh, what's an inexpensive fifteen twenty thousand dollar car? Are you content with driving the twenty thousand dollar car? This for the rest of your life? Are you content in living in like an eighty thousand dollar, ninety thousand dollar home? All right, I'm about to stop the video right here, man. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description for the rest of the video, man. Um, I, I didn't really give a lot of insight on, on, like, what Kevin Samuels was saying through it, which is my bad. I wanted to, but it just the video was just too funny. I couldn't. I, I, I don't know. But her right now wanting a high-value man is very understandable, right? Uh, most, most women would want a high-value man. But the thing she has to understand is men are visual creatures at the end of the day, right? So... When you look at her, like I said, she's not ugly, right? There's a lot of men who find her attractive who want to, you know, probably start a family with her and everything, right? Especially off the fact that she said that she's wanting to have children, which is really, really good. Because there's some girls, I run into a lot of girls that say like, oh, they're not trying to have kids. What I wish that Kevin Samuels would have asked of uh, how soon would she want to have children? Like, like I'm not, not saying like if she gets in a relationship right away having children, but like by a certain time. Because I know an individual that... Uh, you know, a girl that he was talking to, she said she didn't want to have her kids until she was like 40 years old, which is like, holy crap. Most guys don't want to wait that long. I mean, the guys who really, really want to have a family and everything, right? That's pushing. It. They want to be younger and uh, young enough to be, you know, able to play with their children and such, right? Oh, um, with her, man, I think she sees her parents. She sees that they are high value themselves. Mom being a pharmacist, dad being, um, a chairman, a chairman of the school. I think she sees that and says, "I I expect greatness for myself too," which makes sense, makes perfect sense. You've been you've seen that your whole life. You've been growing up on that, right? So you would ask for nothing less. The only problem is, like, first she has a psychology degree. No disrespect to anybody who has a psychology degree, um, unless you go for the PhD. <laughs> most times the money is not really there. It's almost one of those things you get a degree just to get a degree, right? It's it's nice. It's smooth. Uh, oh, I thought my dog was about to go through. It's nice and smooth that you have it, but um, the income is not always the best, right? You know, my, my, of course, there's exceptions to everything. Nothing is ever, uh, you know, absolute, right? Uh, with her, she seems like a very, very nice person. She seems like somebody that could potentially find a guy, but at the same time, she has to understand that <laughs> there's other girls that look a lot better that these guys can mess with what does she have to offer that these other guys i mean granted she got a bbl now probably you know, booty might be looking crazy what does she have to offer that these other guys can't get anywhere else or would rather have with her is her personality like that i mean i understand why she left the old dude because he wanted to be polygamous and stuff like that he just wants to smash a whole bunch of giants i mean that makes sense you have value oh man my kids is making noise upstairs you want to have the high value and everything that makes perfect sense but i mean i'm not sure man I'm not sure. I wish I could get better insight, but I was just I was just laughing throughout this whole thing, bro. Oh man, I'll watch this video after after I get off here, man. But uh if you made it this far, I appreciate you, man. I love you, man. Oh, my kids is getting real loud. I gotta go upstairs now, man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and my nose keep running. Ooh. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way you always hear the voice of long trust. My voice is also sensual. And at the same time, make sure you hit the like. Because it only takes one second. Hit the damn like, bro. I'm a mean guy. I'm not that mean, son. I'm really, really insecure, son. Just give me that like, please. I beg of you. At the same time, you got to buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Link in the description box below. And that's all I got to say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out.